the abuli airport is here to stay south goa hoteliers need not panic transport minister movin gudino said on friday the old terminal is being developed and will be ready by september 2023 and this sends a very strong message that dabuli airport will continue to serve the people in a better way the navy official said dabuli has been upgraded to match manohar international airport mapa to see that we actually prepare ourselves for the g20 meeting the dabuli airport which has served goa for so long Uh, and which is, I would say, one of the best airports of the airport authority of India, managed by them, alongside the navy. We want to see how things can improve further. If you look at it, uh, they have spent uh, a lot of money, and to further augment uh, everything that is necessary to make a beautiful airport, you have seen the old terminal also is being developed. I think that will be ready around uh, September. September. Around September, that will be ready. which also at the same time sends a very very strong message that the bolim which has always catered to tourism in goa is going to uh, continue and whatever uh, certain people express contrary views are having no substance at all that also is the message that has to go south goa hoteliers are here they wanted uh, in fact to be in the know of things as to what is being done at the bolim because as you know when tourists come when people visit our state planning is done of by the tour operators much in advance several months in advance sometimes year in advance as to what is going to be uh, the place of uh, uh, the flight operation or double m in that uh, entire context i think there is no reduction from airlines and rather summer schedule is also already flight on an average we are having 87 flights some days maybe 90 91 on an average 87 flights are coming summer See, for a statistics, I will tell you. From 5th January to 11th January, we have operated an average of 90 and above, and some days we have crossed 100. So there is no question of uh, uh, reducing the traffic from the uh, corner. And rather, they are asking. They no, no. Slowly, airlines also will uh, come for additional slots, and we are also telling the additional slots which are already available to come to that slots. We are pursuing uh, the airlines to come. So, as far as uh, beautification and improvement of parking, also we are doing it. And other areas also we are developing uh, for the parking. To we may not receive any request for uh, reduction in the traffic. In fact, on the contrary, the request has been there for increase in traffic. So, over the last month to the next month, which is the forecasted month, so we are going to have a little more traffic. As far as the landing slots are concerned, we have offered as much as 340 slots. Uh, that itself, the airlines are not able to match up. So there is no shortage of slots to land. In fact, there are in excess. Uh, right now, we have more than 150 slots which are still vacant, which the airlines can comfortably use. And uh, all the development which is happening, we have upgraded our airport to the Cat 2, which is uh, at par with Mumbai. So, in case of low visibility monsoons, also the aircraft can now land. Earlier, that was a limitation. So, every which way, uh, uh, I think that uh, it is uh, moving in the right direction, and uh, the traffic is not, redu not reducing it. It's in the foreseeable future. Kiran Borkar for Herald TV.